isn't that funny, Snack? He, he's got a, a morning star. Um, I think I could fear right here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I could fear and go back up, but there's still a lot of stuff waiting for me. Let's just see what the fear does. Let's see who it gets away. All right, so it gets away everybody but the bog body, and that's actually okay. So I can go... Yeah, I got lucky on that Spriggan. So the question is, from this position... I still have to go up, right? Um, God, there's so much coming at me. I think I might have to shaft self right here. If I shaft, um, all right, I'm going to cancellation, and then I'm going to shaft. Um, oh, that's a pretty lucky shaft. How's that? That was almost me dead. I know, it was getting crazy. There was like a Hydra and a bunch of insubstantial whiffs. It just, out of nowhere, getting marked in the swamp is a bad scene. That's right, Peacock. Better lucky than good, you know what I mean? All right. Well, that was terrifying, and it could still be terrifying. So I need to... Um... <laughs> you got that right, EDU. Um... It's like one of those things, that I th and I was saying it before, where it can turn on a dime, where like things are going fine, and then you get into a bad spot, and normally you just blink away or teleport away, and it's like, no, no, no. There's the stairs over there. Um, yeah, so Snack... Can I use the dispersal trap to my advantage in any way? Because it doesn't affect me, correct? So... I did land in the vault. I feel okay. So what I need is it blinks everything but me. Okay. I'm just going to try to get my health back. There we go. So this four-headed Hydra, if he comes, will probably get wrecked by the trap. It blinked him away. Oh, man. This is getting weird. Well, somehow everyone knows I'm here. Yeah, I think I might have woken everybody up with that ice blast, which is a shame. So, I'm going to kind of cut back over here. Well, Hydras have all those mouths, you know? All right. I have a five-headed Hydra on me. Um, <laughs> I'm just fighting things with this hand axe. It's probably time to switch.
Dispersal trap helped me out as well. Oh. That actually went pretty well. I'm going to vote that as a victory. That could have been a lot worse. Spriggan Truid. What are you all about? Are you going to... Oh, he turns the trees against me, doesn't he? So I should get away from these trees. All right, but if I kill him, then the trees... Oh, no. Who mited that Hydra? That's a serious problem. Um, that seven-headed mited Hydra is going to destroy me. I'm going to need to use this trap to get him away from me. I wonder how that works. Like, I wonder where the best square to stand is to, to guarantee that he steps into it. If I'm here, he, he just goes into the water, right? I'm wondering, is there a way... Oh, if I step into it, um, I see, I see, okay, no, you're right, Airhorn, and thank you, Snack, for clarifying, so I can step into the trap just to blink him away, that's how I abuse it, I get it, I, my mind wasn't registering that, that's pretty interesting, alright, let's just send this guy away, let's just give him, like, some headaches like this, and then, yes, well, that didn't do anything. That most certainly didn't do what I wanted it to do. That's awful. Um, okay, now I'm probably dead. Uh, let me just... Can Hydra see invisible? No. All right. <laughs> oh, this is awful. All right. He's not mited anymore, so I think I can take him down. Yeah, I think I think we'll be okay now that might is out of the picture. Um, let me just drink a potion and uh, start hitting. Look at that. The Swamp Worm just hit the Hydra and almost killed it with his harpoon shot. Did you see that? What kind of reckless swamp worm is that? Is it because I'm invisible and he doesn't know? And he just launched a harpoon randomly? <laughs> uh, that's funny. He's like, trust me, guys. I got it. Man. That is a lot of poison. Get out of here. All right. My goodness. I wonder if there's going to be a moment where I can rest to uh, get my health back. That's what I'm kind of shooting for here. Oh, I almost got it. That didn't work like I wanted it to. Come on. Why are these Spriggan Riders just so unbelievably dangerous? All right. So let me do this. And then... Yeah, I got the poison. Now it's just the Hornet. The, the Spriggan was poisoned himself. Or itself. There we go. The thing is, they're just hard to hit. And I'm just not that accurate with this battle axe yet all right we'll get there yeah not having resist poison is kind of <laughs> that's funny peacock exactly uh sorry guys um but that swamp worm didn't have heal he's like i can't heal you Hydra, I just left you in uh, in range of a kill shot by that crazy bug man. Oh, oh, 
look at this. 50% chance that this is acquirement. It's either acquirement or frog, uh, fog. And I have, it's acquirement. Yes. All right. <laughs> That's funny. A, how about a vampiric executioner's axe, huh? Um, I don't think I need that. I honestly think it's going to be the gold pieces, even though it's hardly any. Um, unless I want the Staff of Wizardry so that I can uh, cast Passage of Galubria in an emergency, but I don't know if that's worth it. You think I should take it? You think I should take that axe? Yeah, Snack, that axe is sick. Um, I do have a... a plus three executioner's axe of electrocution. But do you think this vampiric axe is good for now? All right, I'll take it, just because the other stuff isn't that great. Should I switch to the vampiric... Um, executioner's axe over my battle axe, even though my axe skill is only 16. When do you think it becomes the right decision to switch to the bigger axe? Do I need a better skill, or am I at the point where I can switch now and it's worthwhile? Around 20? Okay, fair enough. Um... All right, I'm going to turn off armor for a bit. Yeah, you need 26 to get to Mindalay, but if at 20 it's like one, one attack, then that seems worth it. I am confused. Booty do, what is up? Good evening. I'll tell you what. I just got a, a slight chill, and what it was, was being confused near the deep water, but then I remembered that it's been a long time since you could be confused and, and accidentally walk into the deep water and die, right? Like, it's been several versions since that was a thing, <laughs> but I swear, I swear you used to be able to do that. Yeah, that was like the worst. I mean, you were just like, oh no, no characters dead well yeah those were the kind of deaths where you would just silently close your computer and not boot up the game for quite some time Mm, we got some uglies. Come with me, ugly. One at a time, please. Oh, that's right. I still haven't even cleared this floor. That's funny. The mental image right there. Um, <laughs> exactly, EDU. At least a day. You know, like, maybe a week. You're just like, I ain't, I ain't gonna start that baby up. Yeah, um, or the the merfolk sirens that could mesmerize you and pull you into the deep water and just kill your character. I mean, just unbelievable. Well, I'm telling you what. It's a good thing when you can clear Swamps 3 and there's still Swamps 2 left to do. Oh, that was more uglies than I wanted at one time. Um, I guess I, st I can stand here. Vampiric coming in handy. Oh, a Skywa coming in handy. God, this poison is so brutal. 
Mangrove, I gotta go. I gotta go before I get constricted. That was almost a death. <laughs> oh, I brought this wisp with me. I didn't even notice that. Get out. Oh, you wisps. So cunning. Dodge this. You know, Peacock, you're 100% right, which is why I kind of went here instead. Either way, though, um, I need poison resistance at some point. God. I mean, I just don't want to wear those scales. Man, he put all these beat these hornets out. You know what was... Yeah, Peacock, you're right about that. That was perfect timing. I was fighting the mangrove, and it was, you know, hit or miss. Who, who knew what was going to happen? And then all of a sudden, I hit him. The hornets come out, but that's just the moment when my dance seduces all around me and the hornets were even mesmerized <laughs> so good respect the rhythm respect my rhythm all right speaking of this have i found any better shields yet no i have my shield i got holy word and torment. I know, Gray. It's just like, like that enemy wasn't hard enough. Oh, yeah, it also summons hornets. Thanks. Right, I'm going to drop this amulet of regeneration. I'm going to drop... Uh, scroll of torment. All right, let's find a way down. We got a leech. Oh, good call. Yep, don't need arrows at all. No more, no more longbow for this character. Nah, booty, you never know. That throwing net could come in handy. I always like to have like one net for emergency purposes, <laughs> like Batman. You know, like where you can get something trapped in a net and run away if, if it's your last resort. Ouch. He slammed me against the deep water. Oh, there's another mirror. Well, that's good. Seven-headed Hydra, huh? All right, let's just go ahead and switch over to our hand axe. And let's give this dude acid and then flame and then another flame and it's over mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh no oh yes good idea peacock um Are the deafening roars um, learny, or is it something else? Uh, I kind of want to get that thorn hunter over here, but not at a range. Oh, dragon. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, here comes the swamp hunter, or the thorn man. Thorn man sees me. Let's just move over here. I should be okay. Jesus. Uh. Yeah, I felt it. I felt every single one of those thorns, and it was not good. 
It's a phantom. Man, we attracted a whole bunch of clowns. Oh, okay, guys. Thanks for that observation. That's helpful. So you're saying because these are undead that I'm going to get an undead vault and not learny? Probably for the best. Could be an undead learny. Well, that's decidedly easier than the regular one, though, right? Usually when I see, like, undead hydras, I'm not concerned. But doesn't grow heads back. Hmm. Ghost crab. What a delight. What a delight. Oh my god. Hey, hunting wall. What's up, man? How are you? Woof. I'm getting worked over here. It's a tough... It's a tough battle. So, the vampiric axe is doing nothing against... Undead and zombies, right? But I should probably switch to the electrocution damage maybe I mean because the undead they aren't immune to electricity they just um, no they don't even have resistance to it yeah that's a good point I mean it's still probably I'm too slow to use the executioner's axe. If I could just pull these... Ah, look at that. Not hun hunting wall. You're in two places at once. You beautiful bastard. All right. Well, they're really giving me a lot of holy word, which I should probably be using more of. Um... Oof, almost killed that guy with uh javelins, that's pretty funny. Alright, let's go ahead and hand axe and chop it up. No problem. All right. Oh, I guess right. I got drained by that GD ghost crab. Eight heads, huh? That's a lot. We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha you taken care of. Nice. The fake and the real. Identified. I like it. I like it, Hunting Wall. Oh my gosh. Not another ghost crab. Not another. Not like this. It's just too many. 
Got it. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's getting ugly. Thorn Hunter on the rampage. I'm just going to pull a little bit closer and go up the steps in a moment. There we go. That's the one I was looking for. Yeah, that, uh, that was bad for the Thorn Hunter. <laughs> I rolled Yahtzee on the Wanda Clouds there. Got the Flame Clouds. Poor guy had to stand in the cloud to fight. It's, uh, it's a doozy for him. I was wondering why I was seeing all these phantoms in the swamp. It's because of the Undead Vault. I get it. I get it now. It's an eight-headed Hydra zombie. It's coming at me. It's lost its powers. All right, let's just go ahead and back away from this. <laughs> That's funny, Peacock. I didn't know that. Too stupid to feel pain. They don't even know when they're being hurt. Man, that... That bog body almost ended me there. I don't need that to happen. <laughs> All right, so here's the miasma clouds that you're talking about. The foul pestilence. A cloud of dark miasma. Any living being not subject to Zin's divine protection will find himself poisoned and may also find their movements slowing and their flesh rotting away. How fantastic. Clouds of this kind an adventurer makes will vanish almost instantly. Uh-oh. Hunting Wall's talking to himself. The real and the fake having a conversation. So... Yeah, I'm wondering about that. Should I just start yelling? I heard a chilling moan. That's better than nothing. Anybody coming out? <laughs> oh, we got a wisp coming. Does the miasma hurt the enemies at all, or not really? Because they're, uh... Mm, I might have a curse scroll of noise I can get. Well, we did get three chilling moans. I'm going to go ahead and read my enchant armor. Um... I'm okay with putting it on my plate for the moment. Oh, oh, here comes a regular Hydra. I have to say, and you guys all know this um, better than me. Number one, chilling moan, peacock, and I've been hearing it, and it just in my head it basically just sounds like the traditional ghost sound effect, like Wah! that's what I kind of hear, um, and I I almost laugh when I see the text for it. Um, but anyway, number two, I love that Usk will mesmerize even undead and insubstantial wisps I mean like what is an insubstantial wisp why does it want to watch me dance why does it think it's cool it is hilarious to me it's the best dance it's ever seen oh here everybody's coming out now <laughs> 